What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. I played Doom on PlayStation 4. I beat the game two nights ago and I wanted to share my thoughts on this game. So if Doom was on your maybe list for a possible game to pick up this year, please sit back and enjoy this review. I think you might find it enlightening. Doom has a very special place in my heart. It was after all the very first first person game I had ever played. I was never a PC gamer, and fortunately for me, the PlayStation 1 got a port of Doom in 1993, and I decided to give it a try. To my absolute delight, I found out Doom was fast, frightening, frantic, and even more than anything else, extremely addicting. After playing, mastering, and fully indulging in Doom 1, I soon migrated to Doom 2 the following year after its release on PlayStation. So needless to say, I think Doom is an amazing game, and after finding out that Bethesda in tandem with id Software was rebooting the franchise, I was optimistic to say the least. Originally announced as Doom 4 in 2004, Doom unfortunately got stuck in development hell, and was shelved until 2011 when development finally got off to a good start. After rumblings of a behind closed door showing of Doom in 2014, all signs pointed to the remake being a fairly good game. Then in 2015, at Bethesda's first E3 showing, gamers and Doom fans alike finally got an eyeful of the new Doom remake, and after seeing it for the first time, I was extremely excited to get my hands on this game. It looked so good during E3 that I honestly didn't believe that it was actual gameplay. The reveal trailer showed gameplay that was honestly alien to console gamers in my opinion. It was way too fast, too fluid, and way too silky smooth. After so many games being released on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One had frame rate hiccups and resolution problems, I just didn't believe it was possible. Well, after an awesome multiplayer beta, I was a believer. And after seeing this game's multiplayer was actually on the level of what I saw at E3, I knew that this reboot was going to be different. This Doom reboot was changing the game, and now that I've played the single player campaign through to completion, I have a few thoughts to share on exactly what this reboot is. Developers, please take note. As always, this review will cover the story, gameplay, graphics, and sound. The story of Doom is actually a familiar one to old school Doom players. You take the role of an unnamed space marine who is tasked with not only destroying spawns from hell, but also closing the various portals that they come from. These portals were opened by the Union Aerospace Company under the guise of helping humanity with an everlasting and renewable power source, Hell Energy. Too bad that these scientists got it wrong and unleashed the hordes of hell on their Martian compound. You are led on your mission by the company's sole survivor, Chief Samuel Hayden, through various stages with a set of goals that if done correctly will bring an end to this horrible and dangerous situation. Doom is very reminiscent to the original Doom and Doom 2 games in the sense that it doesn't take the campaign slow like in Doom 3. This game is a full throttle experience and the story doesn't allow you to take a breath. The story of Doom is actually fairly well realized and it kept me invested through the 14 hours it took me to beat the game. I was actually very surprised at how long the campaign was and honestly enjoyed every minute. Gameplay id Software nailed the gameplay of Doom and there is so much to say about it. First of all, the pace of the game is a huge homage to the classic and the different ways to play keep your mind spinning constantly. There are so many things taken directly from the original that make this game shine. The health of your character is picked up around the maps and can also be attained by killing enemies with Doom's most awesome new feature, Glory Kills. These kills are performed when you damage an enemy to the point where a blue aura pulses around them. This gives you a chance to melee them which turns your kill into a brutal fatality like animation. There are tons of glory kills and they change depending on which direction you attack from. There are also old tropes and weapons from the original series. Virtually every weapon from the original game returns with the added bonus of them being upgradable. Every weapon except for the lovely super shotgun is upgradable with things like tracking missiles, sniper scopes, and charge shots. These upgrades made an already incredible first person experience even better and gives the player many ways to handcraft their own tailor made playstyle. Speaking of upgrades, your power armor is also upgradable with Praetor tokens that you find on dead soldiers. There are also rune trial stones that you can find that open mini games that when completed allow more customization for your armor. There are also in game power ups that when timed correctly can turn the tide of a hellish battle. Things like quad damage, haste for even faster play, berserk which sends you into a frenzy of fast flying one hit kills, and invulnerability are all there. 
these power-ups were all staples in the original Doom games and feel right at home in the reboot. The chainsaw makes a triumphant return here, and while it's surely one of the most violent ways to dispatch demonic hordes, it's been given even more purpose in the remake. If you run out of ammo, kill a demon with your chainsaw and watch all the ammo just fly out of their now wide open corpse. It seems like everything was carefully thought out in this reboot, and I think it's all been realized in grand fashion. Any situation you find yourself in can be remedied if you just think your way through it. The pace of the game isn't just set by you either. The enemies are extremely aggressive. I played on the Hurt Me Plenty difficulty and noticed that the enemy AI wasn't stupid in any way and they seemed really pissed off at all times. You can run and try to hide but they will find you inevitably. I felt like a cat trapped in a corner so many times and that frantic nature just added to the overall excitement of Doom and honestly I couldn't have asked for more. Graphics Doom Wow what can I say, I played Doom on the PlayStation 4 and on the console Doom runs at a dynamic resolution of 1600 by 1080p and up to 1920 by 1080p at a buttery smooth 60 frames per second. I don't know exactly how they accomplished this level of polish and frame rate at the same time, but wow man, they actually did. This game is quite possibly the best looking first person shooter I've ever seen. Every aspect of this game is stunningly realized. Everything from the guns, the worlds, the enemies, and the incredible effects that are constantly blazing across the screen are masterfully realized. The enemy animations are sick, and the frame rate is simply some of the best I've ever seen on a console. The lighting effects are photorealistic, lending to this dark, dank, and disturbing atmosphere. This game is truly a stunning representation of the doom of old. Some of the later enemies caught me off guard by the shockingly tedious attention to detail. These enemies look sickening in the best way imaginable. The level designs are striking, and not only look amazing, but complement the many avenues the gamer has to play. If you want a game that just looks insane, then you will not be disappointed by Doom in any way. Sound Doom once again takes cues from its awesome past. The tone of the game is set by the hard pulsing rock tunes you hear blasting away in the background, seemingly powering you through large mobs of ever changing enemy types. Voice acting is actually minimal in this game, but the few actors lending their talent do a fantastic job of grounding the world. The standout to me was actually the sounds of the enemies, shambling about and out of sight. You never know exactly where they're coming from, and this always heightened my panic levels. This is another aspect brought directly from the original games. The sounds of the various weapons are also amazing. Not very often do you play a game and recognize various weapons by their sounds as well as you would here. I think that the atmosphere that id was going for here partly exists because of all the aspects of the great sound work at play. Everything from the soundtrack to the enemies, to the weapons work in tandem, blending into an amazing experience. Final Thoughts Id Software has long been considered a pioneer in the gaming community for the creation of games like Wolfenstein, the Quake series, and of course Doom. It's honestly very refreshing to see the creator of a longtime fan favorite not only resurrect said franchise, but do it in grand fashion. Often remakes and reboots try so hard to be different that they forget to include what it was that made the game great in the first place. Doom, on the other hand, isn't like most reboots. Barring the stellar ones like Tomb Raider, most developers just get it wrong, but not here, not this time. Doom the reboot is amazing for all the reasons that older gamers remember it being amazing for. The things we loved are all still here. The speed, the intense challenge, the level design, the vast array of weaponry. It's all here, and for the most part only changed for the better with minute improvements that make an already winning formula better. The changes that id added only serve as tasty side dishes to a meal that we already know and love. The upgrades to the fan favorite weapons, the armor suit upgrades, the double jump, the glory kill, and above all the graphical representation and frame rate that goes above and beyond what we as gamers have grown to expect as the norm. Doom was incredible to play and while I only delved into the single player I'd say that it would be worth the full price even if it didn't include the multiplayer and the ability to craft your own maps and play them online. Doom is a new standard for first person shooters, and I shudder to think of what type of games will take advantage of this quite capable engine. This game is a buy, and if you're a fan of the original two Doom games, then this game deserves to be in your game library today. Thanks for watching my review guys, please hit that thumbs up button and share this video with all your friends. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe now. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Let it go.